Okay. Did you find the monitor helped or not? I found myself looking at it though. <laughs> Hi Candace. Hi Candace. Hi Owen. Hi Oliver. How are you both? Great, thank you. Great. Thank well, thank you. you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for the book. I love it. Oh, good, good. That's a good start. So, can you tell us about your new book, Imaginary Fred, and what inspired you to create it? Um, uh, imaginary Fred is kind of what it says on the tin. It's a book about an imaginary friend. Um, but it's a play on words. You get it? You get it? Yes. That's Fred uh, sounds like friend, but it's not. That's how talented I am as a writer. <laughs> I do that kind of wordplay. But, uh, well, I have a dog named Fred, and sometimes I wish he was imaginary, so oh, I like I that too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a troublemaker, Fred, is he? Yes, especially when he wakes me up at 2 in the morning. No, that's not good. That's, yeah. And you both collaborated on Imaginary Fred. What was that experience like? It was a lovely process. It was very gentle and, and easy, and not at all like what you, you would expect from, from two individuals such as ourselves who are used to getting our own way. Uh, there were there were no spats or, or hissy fits or tantrums or, or anything yet. I think that's pro possibly because we were on different continents at the time. <laughs> you were in America yeah. and I was in Europe, yeah. and uh, we never so we, met up. So. Yeah, we communicated through Skype. Um, so I would do drawings and then hold them up to the camera. I'm sure there's probably a more efficient way to do that, but uh, the it worked. It worked for us. Yeah. Did you communicate through imaginary friends? Well, I uh, see. Oliver Skype's not a yeah. person. Oliver won't admit that he has any imaginary friends, <laughs> or has ever had. He has well, not now, and has never had an no. imaginary friend. No, Whereas, uh, I, I had an imaginary no friends because I, I grew up with a lot of brothers. So oh no! Plenty of people in my life. Yeah, I did have imaginary friends. So, a long line of uh, imaginary friends based on whichever novel I happen to be reading. So it could be Huckleberry Finn or Captain Hook. Or uh, Hannibal Lecter? No, that would be. <laughs> that's not a good one. It's not a good one, no. No. And as two of the top Irish children's book creators on the planet, do we have any future works planned for you both? Um, I think we have separate projects. We were just talking about it. We would like to do something else together, maybe in a couple of years when our schedule. If, if he's nice not, to me. Yeah, he's very. I have to be, be really nice. nice. He's very touchy. He's very touchy. <laughs> but, uh, he's worth it, though. He's no, it's it. it's been. I would. I'd. I'd love I'd, the opportunity to work with Owen again, um, and it's. Uh, we haven't really talked about it until no. people have started asking us today. Now that the book's out, he's going to work together again, and uh, I suppose we hadn't thought about that before. But yeah, I suppose we will at some point. Yeah, I think something completely different if we were to a crime work. novel. A crime novel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so fingers crossed. Maybe in a few years' time, we'll be get back in the saddle. Well, we look forward to that. Where can we go to purchase Imaginary Fred? Uh, most good bookshops. All good bookshops and some not so good ones as well. Yeah. <laughs> should have it. And all the usual online play. It's, it's actually very widely available uh, from today on. So it should be no problem. And if you see Owen, he'll be standing on street corners giving them away. Not giving them away. Oh, sorry, selling them. Selling them for In increased <laughs> street corners. I have my sack of books and I'll be... Forging, charging forging Oliver's signature and uh, it's easy to forge <laughs> perfect well thank you both so much I appreciate it have a great afternoon thank Thanks. you thank you Candace thank you bye, -bye. bye.